Hello, Ethical Hackers. In this quick update, I'm so excited to announce that I've published a new version for the OWASP.10 Training Lab, which has a lot of benefits over the previous version. It's all free, don't worry. It's just that, based on your great feedback, I decided to move on from the virtual machine that you have to download and install using VirtualBox to a fully Docker-based lab. All you have to do is just run one command and you're good to go. Plus, the vulnerable web applications that are contained inside the lab won't be exposed to the LAN network, which means that this provides a layer of security which the previous version of this lab didn't have. I have also prepared a PDF file that walk you through the steps that you need in order to set it up. So let's see this in action. So once you download the files, you unzip them and then you would have the PDF file and the Docker Compose file and the Juice Shop and WebGoat vulnerable web applications. Now you need to have Docker and Docker Compose installed and these are available on your preferred operating system. So here in this link you have all you need to install Docker and Docker Compose on both Mac IA recommend you install Docker Desktop for Mac or on Windows which also has Docker Desktop for Windows or if you have uh, Linux you can also um, download the binary using this command. So it's really easy to set it up and the best part is that if you have Mac or Windows and you install the Docker Desktop version you would have automatically Docker Compose installed with it so you don't have to do any extra steps. So once you have them both installed all you have to do is just run Docker Compose up. And it should work like magic. One thing I want to mention is that you need to be in the directory where you unzipped the archive in order for this to work. This is already explained in the PDF file. So now you should have some output which indicates what's going on behind the scenes. And now all you have to do is just visit your local host and then port 8080 slash webgoat for webgoat. In my case, I'm using a different installation of Docker, but for you, it would be localhost. For me, it's different. And there you have it, a brand new lab that you spun up in just one command. So here I'm just going to, um, since I don't have a user, register a new user. I just want to create a user so that I can show you if you want to stop the lab and then resume it afterwards. So let's just go ahead and um, solve a simple injection vulnerability challenge, like a SQL injection. This is already covered in the OWASP top 10 training, which goes with this uh, lab. So remember, we solved challenge 9. So now we want to take a break and we want it to, to come back later. If you don't want to keep running the lab, all you have to do is just run docker compose stop. I don't recommend you do a control C here in the main terminal window because that would um, stop the containers in an irreversible way. So just open a new tab and then run docker compose stop. And now if I try to refresh, I'm unable to connect to the server. But now, if I want to resume it, then all I have to do is just do docker compose start. And my containers are up again. And now if I refresh, it should take some time for the container of webgo to load. In the meantime, I'm just going to verify that juice shop is running. It's running on port 3000, and there you have it. 
Let's go back here and wait for some time. Web goat is a little bit heavy. Let's see if web wolf is running. It's normally running on port 1990 slash web wolf. Okay, so web goat should be running. All right, so now remember that we've already created a user and we're logged in. Now, if we go to the injection part, we see that our progress has been saved. So that's a great way for you to experiment and practice the OSP top 10 training without actually worrying about the security of your LAN network as well as without having issues connecting to the virtual machine which is a recurrent problem I saw in your feedback. I hope you enjoy this new version and you find it much easier than before to practice your hacking skills. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like comment and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on Training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week. If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.